In this video, we will know about concept learning and the general to specific ordering. The problem of inducing general functions from specific training examples is central to learning. For example, birds which are subset of animals, bird is specific example and animal is general. Concept learning is acquiring the definition of a general category given a sample of positive and negative training examples of the category. Concept learning is inferring a boolean valued function from training examples of its input and output. For example, a function defined over all animals and a bird whose value is true for birds and false for other animals. We start our discussion on concept learning by taking example enjoy, enjoy water sport or not. This example consists of six attributes sky, air temperature, humidity, wind, water, forecast. It also consists of three positive examples and one negative example. Each example is considered as one hypothesis and the result is conjunction of all attribute values. Here the task is to learn and to predict the value of enjoy sport for an arbitrary day based on the values of other attributes. For each attribute, the hypothesis will either question mark, pi or any specific value. If it is question mark, then any value is acceptable for this attribute. If it is pi, then no value is acceptable for this attribute. For example, some player enjoying sport on a sunny day and in warm water independent of other attribute values then hypothesis can be represented as sunny question mark question mark question mark warm question mark most general hypothesis is all question marks for all attribute values in this scenario player enjoys sports on all days most specific hypothesis is all pi values then in this scenario player does not enjoy sports on any day instances are described by different attribute values in the enjoy sport example different attributes are sky air temperature humidity wind water and forecast each attribute is represented by different values each hypothesis is described by the combination of conjunctions of different attributes. Here, target concept C is enjoy sport, X value is either 0 or 1. 0 for negative example, 1 for positive example. Hypothesis H is determined as such that H of X equal to C of X for all x values in the instance. What do you mean by inductive learning hypothesis? In general, we train the system by using set of training examples. That system has to work for other unseen examples also. Any hypothesis found to approximate the target function well over a sufficiently large set of training examples will also approximate the target function well over other unobserved examples. These inductive learning algorithms can at best guarantee that the output hypothesis fits the target concept over the training data as well as unseen data. Concept learning can be viewed as the task of searching through a large space of hypothesis implicitly defined by the hypothesis representation. It is important to note that 
by selecting a hypothesis representation the designer of the learning algorithm implicitly defines the space of all hypotheses that the program can ever represent and therefore can ever learn the goal of this search is to find the hypothesis that best fits the training examples in enjoy sport example the number of instances of hypothesis are very less this number is a product of combinatorial values of all attributes this example is very simple learning task with relatively small and finite hypothesis space but in most practical examples task number of tasks involve much larger sometimes infinite hypothesis spaces if we view learning as a search problem then it is natural that our study of learning algorithms will examine the different strategies for searching the hypothesis space we will be particularly interested in algorithms capable of efficiently searching very large or infinite hypothesis spaces to find the hypothesis that best fit the training data many algorithms for concept learning like find as candidate elimination algorithm organize the search through the hypothesis space by relying on a very useful structure that exists for any concept learning problem that is general to specific ordering of hypothesis to explain this one we are taking two hypotheses h1 and h2 attribute values for h1 are sunny question mark question mark strong question mark question mark attribute values for h2 are sunny and all remaining are question marks assume both these hypotheses are giving positive result so where is the difference between this h1 and h2 in the case of wind attribute h1 is giving positive value if it is wind is a strong in the case of h2 if wind is either strong or weak it is giving positive value so we can consider h2 is more general than h1 so how to define this more general than or equal so you can take this definition as let hj and hk be boolean valued functions defined over x then hj is more general than or equal to hk if and only if for all x values h of x h of hk of x equal to 1 implies hj of x equal to 1 this diagram shows instances hypothesis and the more general than relation the box on the left represents the set of all instances x the box on the right the set of all hypotheses h each hypothesis corresponds to some subset of instances that it classifies as positive the arrows connecting the hypothesis represent the more general than relation with the arrow pointing towards the less general hypothesis in the above example h2 is more general than h1 and h3 but h1 and h3 are not related thank you